Innovating Education Learning World in association with WISE, an initiative of Qatar Foundation. Education is evolving fast with new technologies and teaching techniques emerging to meet the needs of the modern world. And many teachers are following suit. So will their role be radically transformed in the future? Teachers and educationalists give us their views now on learning world. In Libya, education, like many other services, is emerging from the rubble of the Qaddafi era. Two years after the revolution, many things have changed. Teaching staff are turning away from the old regime's politically oriented teachings and acquiring new skills, like learning how to use computers. Two years after the Libyan revolution that ended the former Gaddafi dictatorship, almost everything has to be redone in the education system. Walls marked by bullet holes in Mezrata and Sert, ceilings of classrooms gutted in Benghazi. Many schools are still under reconstruction, but it's behind the scenes that the most important work is going on, teacher training. This is one of the faces of the Libyan revolution. Aisha Zaidi is the new director of this primary school, and this morning she's just supervised exam marking. Her concern, the students' levels on the menu this morning, is a test of written expression. The Libyan education system is one of the lowest ranked in the world, according to the World Economic Forum. Blame it on more than 40 years of dictatorship. You need to understand that all courses during the dictatorship were articulated around politics, including play in the green paper, which was studied like an essential subject. It was repeated throughout the day, Gaddafi is the master of Libya. Everything was dictated by the popular committees. Under those conditions, we must understand that no course allowed students to be independent, to think for themselves, to develop the mind of the student. And it was the same for teachers, everything is back to zero. The priority now is the training of teachers. And two years after the revolution, everything has to be rebuilt, including the most trivial things, like learning to use a computer. Omel Kia supervises all training programs for teachers, including new textbooks. Today, in fact, she has an appointment with a representative of a famous computer maker. The world has turned to technology. We, Libyans, are no longer isolated from the world. And the world goes to those with technology, practical education, employment programs and simple computer skills. Most Libyan teachers are in the same frame and the same direction. Otherwise, we will be isolated. Libya is working to end this isolation by working with organizations like UNICEF. Certainly, uh, there is a big need, a great need expressed also by teachers that they need training, they need better pre-service uh, teacher training, in-service teacher training, and this is exactly what UNICEF also is supporting. Teachers, is teachers good quality, well-trained teachers who are promoting inclusive education for all children, again, for especially the vulnerable, is the key to education. The process promises to be long. It will probably take several years to catch up. But the government is counting heavily on education, convinced that teachers could be the best guides of the revolution. Learning World, in association with WISE, an initiative of Qatar Foundation.